What's up, fuck faces? Welcome back to another beautiful edition of the Beers and Deers podcast. As always, the guillotine, the Rambo, and the Tawa Power coming back at ya. Gentlemen, how the fuck are we? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hunting season. It is, fellas. It has been, man, just glorious to get back out in a tree and just, I mean, I I, I can't explain, Jeremy I can't movies. describe how good it feels to be back in the woods. It, it's it's really just indescribable. I just, I've missed it so much. You know, and it's, you forget a lot of things, you know what I mean, about being in the woods. Like, I tell you what, man, just watching these deer move through the, the topography with <laughs> such just <clears throat> grace and silence they are truly a sophisticated prey animal i mean they are they're slippery fucking things dude slippery. they are they are so like a lot of times like over this weekend that i've been hunting and i'm not done as you can see i'm, I'm camoed out if you're watching i'm going back out tonight Fuck yeah, dude. i'm gonna watch the eagles game in the stand i ain't playing Hunting, I love it, but uh, it's gonna be a hot one today, so that sucks. Yeah, fuck that. It's just the I, I forgot just how how graceful deer are in the woods and how silent they can traverse. They're fucking the, ghosts. They just appear out of nowhere. It's yeah. like they just yeah. fall out of the fucking sky. Yeah, it's incredible. <coughs> it really is. And how well how well they are tuned in to their environment. Oh yeah. Like I was moving slowly, and I thought completely incognito. And I had deer, they must have caught my movement from probably 100 yards away. And they they took off. They didn't blow or nothing, but they, they took off pretty quickly. Like, they seen me. It's just, their eyes are better than you think, too. I mean, and I know they don't see color as well as we do, and they don't see like we do. They have the diachromatic vision as we have trichromatic. But they see motion very well. Oh, yeah. They, well, what's they, that Fred Bear thing? Don't look for deer, look for motion. Look for, look for movement. And that's what they're, that's looking, what they're for. looking for. Yeah. That is <coughs> probably the one of the biggest factors of of hunting is, is fucking stay still. Yeah. You it's it's if you, your scent will be the first thing to get you busted, but number two is movement. And that will be if it if your scent don't get you, your movement will. It's it's rare that as long as you're sitting still and you're you're not fucking on top of a hill with the sun at your back and your outline. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, if you're sitting still, it's pretty hard to get busted. Oh, yeah. As soon as you move, man, they are they zero in on that movement very well. Very well. It's been glorious getting back into the bosom of Mother Nature. <sighs> That's a great way to describe <laughs> it. it. I, I, love I love a good that. bosom. <laughs> All up in Mother Nature's bosoms. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got a long hike, so I'm going to get up in her guts tonight. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, not uh, me. My hike's not long. I'm off the side of a railroad track. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I, uh, I, I guess it's not terrible, but I, in order to play the wind tonight, to get into where I want to go, I got about about a mile hike. Yowza. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, and of course it's hot. Got fucking I don't know forty fifty pounds of gear on, mm. and so it's it's not a fun hike. But mm. and I'm gonna do it slow, and I think I'm probably even gonna wear the ghillie suit. Wow. Because I'm going to kind of still hunt on my way to the stand, which is why I want to get out, like, now. <laughs> it took us a little while to... We yeah. were having some technical difficulties, so... A year in. A year in, and, and we're we still... still... Yeah. Well, it is what it is. But, uh, f hopefully I can get out there early enough and really take my time getting to my stand. And, uh... That being said, the reason I would like to really take my time and I want to wear a ghillie suit is... So for, I'll, I'll backtrack. I'll start with last night. Last night I went out, and on my way to the stand, it was a beautiful evening. I mm -hmm. got out there at like three thirty ish, and I'm blah, 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 making my way to my stand. Got the Crocs on. I am yeah. just ready to rock. Fanny Arrow pack. fanny pack. Arrows knocked, and. Out of the corner of my eye, I see a deer on her feet at what I thought was about 40 yards, maybe a little less. <clears throat> and when I seen her, she also seen me. Hey. And my arrow's knocked, and I'm holding my bow, and I'm just staying steady. She's looking at me. 
she's doing her head bob thing. She pounds on her foot on the ground, you know mm. what I mean? She's stomping, and I'm just like, this bitch is going to blow at me. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot her. <laughs> uh, as you guys know, if and if you don't know, I'm, I'm waiting for a buck. I didn't want to shoot a doe, but in this situation, I, she's probably going to blow at me. You know what? I just got here. I'm going to ice this doe and call it a night. So she, I stay perfectly still, and I'm just waiting for her to blow and take off, and I was going to draw back and try to shoot her. And I got my pin on tw- my twins on 25 and 40 because and, and i don't think because i got a two pin slider sight i don't think that's a bad place to have them in the stand but in the stand i set it on 20 and then my bottom pin will be about 35 mm-hmm. but when i'm walking i set it down a little further because often you'll get deer <coughs> at a, a longer shot it's pretty rare you're going to walk up and be 20 yards within a deer yeah. it's often there'll be 30 to 60 but before or by the time you see them and have a shot. So I stick it out a little further. So my bottom pin was on 40, which is where I thought she might have been. So she stepped forward a little bit, and her head was behind a tree. So I came to full draw. Now, the the dilemma that I was presented with was I knew because she's on point, she already seen me, and she probably didn't know what I was. So I knew she's probably going to drop. She's going to jump this string. So I wanted to try and aim low, but there was a tree branch that was running right through where her heart would be. Mm. So my only shot was just a touch high, higher than I want to be. So that's where I put my pin, and I I pulled back, and damn sure she didn't drop, and my arrow went just over her back. Mm. And a lighted knock is a beautiful thing. If I, if she wouldn't have dropped, I would have I probably would have spined her. Because I thought she was 40, she must have been a little less than 40. Because my even if she didn't drop, I still would have hit her high. But she uh, she got away scot free, and she took off and still blew. So fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bitch. And I I said, you know what? Fuck it. I didn't even go get my arrow because I couldn't see it like exactly where it was at. And I at this point I was just like I need to just get to my stand. So I left my arrow in the. Uh, the broad head there I, I might I'm, I'm sure I'll get it eventually but anyway I continued to my stand climbed up and I seen a lot of does a lot of does yesterday and <coughs> I didn't have a shot on any of them even if I wanted to but now I'm waiting for a buck and so that was probably a good thing that a doe didn't walk in shooting range because I might have shot her <laughs> yeah. there's no might about it <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah I don't know What'd you say yesterday? We're doaholics. Yeah, I, I'm hi. My name is Seth, and I'm a doaholic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta admit it, though. Yeah. I'm every f- every every year, I say I'm gonna wait for a buck, and I shoot a doe. Functioning doaholic. It's a problem. It's I'm a not, problem. I'm not waiting on no motherfucking buck. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was my sit yesterday. Uh, Johnny, how was your sit yesterday? Well, let's go with Runsky first. Yeah. Okay. Save the best for last, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I got a pretty good. Thinking I got a pretty good pattern going on. Uh, a couple does. Mm. Yeah, I'm set up. Um, they're crossing the tracks in Elk Mills. They're funneling out. So I set up probably 50 yards off the tracks. Probably about probably about three or 400 yards from their bedding. And I got a pretty good idea on where they're poking out crossing the tracks. But So I set up, and I was about 80 yards off the mark yesterday. I looked to my right, and I could just see two or three just funneling out. Mm. No, no chance at a shot. Just shit everywhere. Yeah. But just, uh, just trickling out. I'm like, fuck me. So I'm, I was off the mark yesterday, but today I'm going to think I'll be on the mark tonight. hope so. You got to go to the same spot, just move same closer. Same spot. I'm going to move them. in. Yeah, moving a little closer. That's a good Not bet. too much closer, but closer. Yeah. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Uh, so, Johnny, how was your uh, night last night in the woods? Well, let's start with opening day, Friday. Oh, okay, we, we can backtrack. We all went out in the morning together. Didn't see a fucking thing. No. A lot of squirrels. No. Jesus. Yeah. I forgot how much I hate them. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's a hate. There's no love about it. No. I wanted to ice one. I thought about it yeah. quite a few times. Yeah. I wish I had like a field point on because I was going to kill one. Hmm. Uh, so we didn't see anything more in the morning time on Friday. Then we all went our separate, ra- separate ways on Friday afternoon. I, I uh, sat on the food plot Friday afternoon, seen a spike. I could have killed him about a million times, that little bastard. And and he had a doe with him, but 
She just kind of stayed off into the bush. She, like, knew something was going on. Okay. The wind was swirling real bad. Was it swirling where you guys were Friday afternoon? Friday afternoon. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. That was when I hunted with my son. Well, it was I, It was saying it was, like, supposed to be northwest, but I got a lot of, like, west and, like, southwest winds, and it was all over the fucking place. So I didn't kill anything Friday afternoon. Went out last night, set up in my south wind spot. <laughs> fucking chiggers. Fucking chiggers. I got them, too. And uh, I got out there about 4 o'clock. And I waited to about about two and a half hours, and I I go to stand up because I've been sitting, and I look in the in the bushes, and these bushes are just fucking swaying around because there's a velociraptor in there. Oh, and shoot! I, her. <laughs> and I I see the flicker of a white tail's tail. Oh. Like, okay, here we go. And I was thinking she was gonna come right out to me, so I get turned around so I can shoot her, and then I hear a twig snap kind of behind me to my left and I look over and there's a doe and a fawn coming in and I was expecting them to come in and go to my right but she came in and she was going left which I was not expecting at all that's how it goes you never do what you expect and she gets I, she was walking a pretty good clip and I ranged where I thought she was going to be and it was 31 yards and she gets to that spot, and she actually stops without me having to stop her. Wow. So I pick the rangefinder back up, 33 yards. I reach real quick, click on the 33 on my sight, draw back, and then she starts walking again, so i got to stop her. So I give her the old meh, and she stops, and I buried the pin in her shoulder and let her fly. And as soon as the arrow left, it was going to hit where I wanted it to. But this dirty tramp, <laughs> she decides to duck and turn and i you can hear when you hit guts yeah it's like someone smacked a water balloon oh and i i didn't know i i really didn't know because i got down i looked at the arrow there was nothing on the arrow like at all just dirt and grass so i thought uh let me walk a little bit to where where she went and I walk, and I'm not finding anything, and I walk up on the two deer that she was with, and they take off. So I go over to where they were standing, and I find blood. Mm. And it's it's bright red, and it's got bubbles in it. I'm like, okay, okay, what the, what the hell happened here? I start following it. There's a lot of blood, a lot of blood, a lot of blood, and I'm in the, the fucking bedding area. So that spot is blown to smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear a deer blow, get up. And run into the creek, and I hear her stumble through the rocks and smack into the creek bank on the other side. So I think, this deer's hurt. Yeah. So I finally, I get out, and I go to the creek, and I'm kind of walking up and down the creek, looking for blood. And uh, about 50 yards behind me, I hear something walking through the rocks on the creek. <clears throat> I look back, and she's coming down to the creek... I guess to get something to drink because she was hurt bad and she gets to the creek and she's all weebly wobbly and she just falls right into the creek splash dead i was like what the f- what are the odds of that that's crazy that's yeah. crazy i wish i would have had a cameraman it was insane uh, you weren't filming none of it no you're a loser. you're not thinking about you're that a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I dropped my phone actually i dropped it i reached down to get my phone and i hear her and i'm like what the fuck i had no idea but yeah when she turned it went right into. I guess I think it hit liver because the it, I didn't have any smellage of mm. stomach, and it went out her right lung. But it took her about forty minutes to finally die because I shot her at like six thirty, and I texted Sam at like seven twenty five that she was dead. Mm. Okay. Was, yeah. So. Wow. First year kill of the year. Hey. hey. We have to put one on the old board for. JP fucking Rambo. We're going to have to redo this whole board because you guys forgot Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Sorry, Ryan. First blood. First blood. Hey, don't call me Rambo for no motherfucking reason. <laughs> so I guess we got to put a picture of John up on uh, on Maryland. Did I got know? the perfect picture in mind. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> but, uh, man, those deer are quick, man. Yeah. But that fucking 400 and almost 480 grain air ripped through her so fucking quick. Oh, yeah. It buried in the buried dirt. Buried in the dirt. Oh, my God. 
You love it. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Dude, love extra it. extra weight is good. I mean, so you got guys shooting 600 grain arrows, and but much. I want I want some speed, yeah, which is why I, I like being over 450, but yeah. I don't want to be too crazy heavy because they are so fast, man. They can jump these fucking arrows. It's crazy. Yeah, and like she wasn't alert that I was there at all. I had the perfect wind. Really? Yeah. She jumped it. Damn. If she wouldn't have jumped it, I would have. It, it would have just took her heart clean out. Yeah. I mean, the arrow was headed right for where I buried that pin in her shoulder. But mm. that's what's nice about them lighted knocks. You can see. Yeah, I love them. Man, that was a terrible sound when I heard it hit belly. It sounds just like you're smacking a water balloon. And yeah. you met, yeah, you snapped us while we're all on our stands, and you were like, "Dude, I don't know if I, I, think I, I, don't know if I missed. I don't know what the fuck." Yeah, I, had, I could. The arrow was clean. There was no. Yeah, arrow was clean. There was no hair. There was nothing. But uh, when I finally found blood, there was a lot of blood. Mm. You used uh, Thunderhead? Thunderhead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First kill with the Thunderhead. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, baby. It was just it, it was so crazy how I just look back and she's coming down to the creek. Because they say, you know, a gut yeah. shot deer goes to water. Yep. She died right in the creek. That's awesome. Yeah. You wash her out real good in the creek? No, nah, I took her to work and washed her out. Oh, okay. I'm not washing her out in that nasty-ass creek. <laughs> nah, yeah. Well, fucking, there how, how, how does it feel? I mean, I guess it was probably a little. It was a somber affair. Yeah, I, 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 I knew I gut shot her, and I was like, "Man, fuck!" Because I, you can't leave a deer overnight. No, right now you no. just can't. No, and they're. If you do, the meat's gonna be done. Yeah. So if I didn't find her last night, I was gonna go back this morning and just walk the creek. Yeah. But I found her last night. Thank God. Yeah. She had a fawn with her. She, there was, she was skin and bones. That fawn just sucking the life out of her. Really? Yeah. She said, I won't get much meat off of her. But Did you take her to Buckland's? Yeah. Took her to Buckland's, dude. Buckland's freezer is plum full. Really? There, it's like three deer high stacked in Dang. there. Dang. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it like that. A couple nice bucks. One, one real nice buck out of velvet and one decent buck still in velvet. So. Okay. A lot of does. A lot of does. Well, that's good. They, they, we need to shoot does. Yeah, and I don't know why you uh, you won't. <laughs> I'll, I will. <laughs> I will. I just I, there's the, the spot in Port where we hunt, where I think the bucks are. I I just I I don't want to shoot a doe, and then there'll be a buck ten minutes behind yeah. her, and I fucked it up. You know what I mean? It's just I have meat in my freezer. I still have some deer, so I'm if now if I didn't have meat, I'd probably shoot a doe. But I have meat, and I really want to get a, a buck. So I'm just I'm I'm gonna wait for the first two weeks. I'm I'm not shooting anything but a doe or but a, yeah yeah there you go <laughs> yeah, it, it, the truth comes out there it is unless it's unless it's off a of port if it's not on yeah. port uh, I will like this weekend Ryan Maitland's coming up. Uh, He's had a great weekend this weekend. He'll talk about it when he comes up. Yeah, we'll we, don't us wanna, all in. we don't want to spoil his Not story. Not spoil it. But uh, he's going to be up here next weekend, and we're going to do some more public land hunting. We're going to go probably – we're going to play off the wind, but we're gonna we're looking at going up to Fair Hill Natural Resources area. Um, and then Elk Forest. We'll see. Play the wind. but uh, And I will be shooting a doe <laughs> in, in either of those places. So – Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And tonight, hopefully, hopefully I can drag a buck out of the woods. Hopefully. I mean, I don't care if I gotta track it till two a.m. and go into work at six. I will do it. Man, that's the worst fucking thing about the early season. Mm-hmm. It's hot, and if you do kill one at last light, you're not getting home till fucking nine nine thirty. If you're lucky. Yeah. That's a good night. Yeah. Yeah. You if you gotta track that thing at all, and if you're like where I'm at. It, it's gonna be. It's gonna take me probably. If I shoot a deer at last light, I probably won't get back to my truck till after nine thirty. Yeah. Because of that drag is gonna be nuts. <clears throat> it's gonna suck. But and that's incentive for me not to shoot a doe. Because <laughs> it's like, do I really want to put all that work in for a doe when my freezer's already got meat? No. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, if it if it were January, I would. But man, I forgot how strenuous it is to drag a lifeless carcass. Mm-hmm. But it felt good to get some air in my lungs because I, yeah. I, I'm a fat, lazy piece of shit and I don't work out. Yeah. But it just felt good to actually get the heart pumping and huffing and puffing. Hell yeah. It felt damn good. I lo- I like dragon deer. It, it's it's a love-hate thing, you know. I love dragon deer and I hate sitting on the couch. Yeah, and I left my 
I left my rope at my tree stand, which I usually just wrap around the neck and grab one of the rope and go. Mm-hmm. So I had to grab a hold of the hoof, and uh. my hands just slipping. She's wet. Yep. It's like, fuck, man, that's terrible. That, that was the worst part. My, I couldn't get a grip. Yeah. I wasn't really huffing and puffing too bad, but the grip was awful. Yeah. It's tough to drag them by their foot. Yeah. It sucks. It's a lot better when you have a rope. Yeah. Yeah, the foot, because then you're, you're switching hands, you know, the one hoof. hand gets tired. Double hoof. Yeah. Like this. There's no good way to do yeah, it. I had my bow in my hand. I, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll fill you guys in a little bit about my Friday hunt with Wyatt. Mm. So Friday afternoon, Wyatt and I went out to the Port Deposit property, and I told talked about it on the last podcast, so I won't get real into it, but basically there's two cornfields. And there's about a 10-yard gap between them that leads out to soybean. And the trails in there are covered. I mean, it looks like a fucking a stampede of deer went through there because yeah. they mowed it. Oh, okay. So it's all mowed now. Word. So it's perfect. And, I mean, just thousands of hoof prints in there. And we sat just inside the cornfield. Um, I sat up just behind him, played the wind. Had a, a nice, when a deer walked by, they would have been quartering away slightly. I mean, it was the perfect setup, man. I was so excited. And we were sitting there for about an hour and a half when <coughs> I heard a deer blow. And it sounded like it was coming right from where our stands are. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, a couple hundred yards away, probably 200 yards. And I'm like, what the fuck? There's no way they winded us. How? What the hell is that deer blowing at? And then I hear two people yelling at each other and i i just looked Fuck. at wyatt and i was like are you fucking kidding me yelling at each other yeah oh, like God. oh you dumbass or something like that you know what i mean like i don't know what happened yeah. but they're they're clearly somebody's back there hunting so i text john i'm like hey dude it why is somebody in our spot and is anybody from the quarry in in here right now and john was like no dude nobody's in there there's it, somebody's in there poaching yeah so i text dnr dave uh great dude man he's been helping me out a lot and Wyatt and I decided to pack up and go see because I'm not sitting there wasting my fucking time. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it really sucked. It, uh, it ruined his first hunt because we had poachers. I mean, I, w- I was so angry. I told, I looked at my son. I said, son, if we find these guys, I'm going to hurt them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, was, beats. he was like, okay. <laughs> hey, Dad. <laughs> like, dude, I was, I was hot. Yeah. And so we went and we tried to find them but it's just it's so thick back in there mm-hmm. along the field edge and everything with why i just it, it was too much and i was like you know what i probably don't need to get into a confrontation with these guys with my son here so i went and got back in the truck we drove around the property tried to find like maybe if they had a truck parked somewhere or nothing i couldn't find anything I was notified dnr told them about it and long story short this is an ongoing thing and i'm gonna do my best to try to find these guys and I'm not going to put out. I don't want to put the information out there. I will eventually to tell the listeners and about everything that's going on. But for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Guillotine's going to go John Wick on some mofos. Yeah, <laughs> this is not over. <laughs> yeah, we've had issue after issue after issue with poachers over there. Last year, we had a DNR guy stopping in every ever you know frequently to see if mm-hmm. there was somebody in there, and he w- he rolled in there one day and he note across a field and seen somebody in gravy stand mm. and he calls gravy and he says are you hunting or is somebody else hunting your stand and he said no it shouldn't be anybody and he take the dnr guy takes off across this cut cornfield in his truck about 60 mile an hour <laughs> and sees this guy just skate down the ladder stand and run into this into the woods he never caught him son of a bitch yeah <laughs> yeah, well, they did eventually catch this guy. Oh, they did? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, DN- DNR Dave told me all about it. Dave was one of the guys working the okay. our case. Cool. Which is so coincidental <clears throat> because he's the guy who helped me with poachers last year. So he's – but, yeah, they did get they did get one guy. Okay, good. And uh, But he said they have – he said that this guy was posting videos on, to his Snapchat of DNR driving around looking for him. Oh, while wow. He was in court, like bragging about it. Yeah, that's how they called him because he runs his fucking mouth. He's a dumbass kid. He's like 20, 21 years old. Do you and know? he lives in the trailer park across the street. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, I'll leave it at that. But <laughs> And, and there, I'm sure there's other people in there yeah. but w- i'm not going to get too into it but we're we're going to we're going to get these fuckers, fuckers. Fuck. make sure you get my trail cam back for me 
Yeah, yeah I'm sure. Fucking was, assholes. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna take it out of his. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking scum of the earth, yeah. dude. Like you don't. I you're you're a young dumb kid and you're poaching. That, you know what, dude? You want to do that shit? Go and on the power lines to the power company spot yes. or something. Don't go to somebody where somebody else hunts and is perfect. Like, dude, you just ruined an eight-year-old boy's first hunt. Mm-hmm. You piece of shit. He's stolen, you know what I mean? He's stolen trail cameras. He's stolen deer stands. He's just mm. trash. Oh, dude. Oh, the balls oh. on this kid. Uh, to do it on opening day. He needs his fucking ass kicked. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, or man. a Glock shoved up his ass sideways. Yeah, a Glock <laughs> shoved up there all the way. <laughs> Scratching his and he's, belly. He's smart yeah. too, because he's he's looking to see if anyone's parked. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's hiding. He his, he's he hiding his shit. Yep. If he doesn't see any trucks, he knows he's in the clear. Yeah. What the, the balls on this kid to, to do that videos. on opening day and the the whole Snapchat stuff with dude. DNR. Whoo! And dude, so DNR can't stand this kid. Good. Apparently, he's got like uh, he's had warrants when they called him, and Dave said he threw the book at him. Dave's the one who got him. He said he threw a book at him. He was like, dude, I I, tar- I gave him a repair order for his tires because the tread was low. He said, I hit him with everything I possibly could. I took all his stuff. Yeah. Like, I, I guess the only thing he didn't do was take his truck, but he, he threw the book at him. So hopefully it's not that kid that's in there anymore. But It probably is. We're going to find out. We're going to find out who's going in there. Yes, we will find out. And if you're out there listening, we're going to find out. You tell him I'm coming and hell's coming with me. He's probably got a camera set up in there. I wouldn't be surprised, but guess what? So do we. So yeah. do we. Mm-hmm. Poachers are just... I mean, we, we've all done it, but we didn't do it... Like that. Yeah. We didn't ruin someone's area. We, yeah. You know, we hunted, like you said, power lines. We went lines. to a spot. That, right, exactly. That was... And I, I, don't, I will not do it anymore. It's but, not, of course, it's not right, yeah. but... We, we, we were all young and dumb. Yeah, we did stupid stuff like that, but it's it's not. It's just not worth it. Yeah. We it's never, really not. We never snuck onto someone's farm. No, never. And ruin someone else's shit. You'd be too no. scared to get yourself fucking killed. Yeah, yeah. dude, it, you get run into the wrong guy and you're poaching on their property, man. It's not going to be pretty. No, it's not. Yeah, so that was that, that really sucked. But I don't know. We're going to try and get – still. I'm not giving up on that spot for why. I still think we can – maybe uh, the next weekend I have the kids. I'm going to take him back there and try it again. Good. And this time I've got cameras – all over, so I'll know if somebody's going in that from the trailer park. And the, yeah, we'll figure it out. But that's what it is. Speaking of trail cameras, my Moultrie trail camera is bugged. Yeah, that really sucks, man. Fucking it's just it's it's it, it waterlogged. I don't know, like I, no shit. Yeah, I got it off the tree and I like turned it upside down, and water was just pouring out of the SD card hole. Huh. I was like, what? So no wonder it was sending erratic pictures. Short now. Yeah. I'm getting pictures right now, but it's... Oh. Human? It's the so human variety? Nah, it's oh, just the sun. Oh, <laughs> uh, if it was, it'd be like, all right, see you guys later. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, a couple things. On, uh, on the news note, apparently... Oh, uh, man, maybe I didn't save it. I didn't save it. All right. Well, anyway, I remember I remember the article, and okay, this is not it. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, it was there's another state. I can't remember what it was. I think it was Kentucky that they may be banning baiting because of CWD potential spread of CWD. Yep. Yeah. Because of bait? Yep. Well, they already did it in Michigan. They banned baiting because of, of CWD. Well, the the thought process behind it is is you've got deer all coming to one area, and they're swapping saliva, and it's just a, a potential f- spreading point for CWD. I know John hates it, but I, I, I kind of get it. I don't think it's such a bad thing, and... I know hunting over baits, like a lot of people, that's how they, that's their bread and butter, you know what I mean? And I, I, I'm not against it. I just, it might not be such a bad thing to stop the spread of this stuff no. just for a little while, you know? You're never going to stop one of, it. You're never going to stop it because people with private property are going to just continue to do it. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, how do you how do you stop something like this? It's like almost like trying to stop COVID. You just got to kind of let it do its thing. You got to live with it. Sorry. Yeah. And, and Joe, Joe Biden get fucked with that vaccine mandate. Yeah, it's yeah a that's much. some not bullshit. Happening. That is some bullshit. I'll quit my motherfucking job and sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm start pimping. You ain't sticking that shit in me, son. 
Yeah, that's fucking. It's just it's so far against our our rights, man. Yeah, yeah. it's it's not even the vaccine. It's just it's princi- the principle the principle of, of it, like, telling me I have to do something. Yeah, fuck it's like, you. It's it's so asinine. Hey, you can have the my body my choice thing and then over here you can say you have to get it yeah it's 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 outrageous i don't want to get into politics on here but yeah <laughs> it's fucked up i don't give a shit what you are on that one that's fucking nuts that's yeah. outrageous yeah i don't care what's i don't the, give a fuck what you are that is just insanity what yeah. wing of the bird you're on that is insanity yes it is and it's it is that is against and, and, and not only is it American's insanity freedom yeah and you're using people's jobs as a crutch to yeah, do it exactly yeah, people's livelihood them. what people do to take care of their fucking families you're I, using against them i don't honestly man i might i don't know if i i might quit my fucking i might i might not do it i might fucking look for another job i if they try to make me to do it i don't know it's tough i yeah. hate to lose my fucking job but man i really it's the principle of yeah it really things. is it's like it's like Am I just supposed to roll over and and go against my beliefs and and I uh, just uh, man, yeah I don't want to get into it. I'm a fucking rebel without a cause. You ain't sticking me with that shit. Yeah, that's fucking <clears throat> bullshit, man. But on a on a positive note, uh, I I've acquired two new properties. Hey, beautiful. One small block, which is about ten acres, a little under ten acres, in Port Deposit. I told you guys about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. My buddy Bill, I went over there before I got here, actually, and we put some corn out. Nice. <laughs> and I looked around in there. It's a nice little spot. It's a small property, but there's a good deer sign in there. So we put some corn out. I'm going to put a camera out there and just take an inventory, see what's there. Hell, yeah. Be cool. I like small small little blocks of timber like that, you know, because mm-hmm. it doesn't give deer a lot of places to hide. Yeah. It's like these giant chunks of timber can be so overwhelming sometimes to try to figure out where the deer are moving and pattern them it's the, but small blocks like that it's a it's a lot easier and it's fun yeah so i'm looking forward to that i'm probably gonna go in there sometime soon yeah. pretty sweet i probably won't hunt the quarry for at least a week let it cool down because i blew that fucking place up son yeah walking walking to that bedding area but you know the this time of year the deer can bed literally anywhere everywhere yeah so I, it's probably not hurt too bad nah I, I'd bet you could go back in there in two, three days. Yeah, I'll probably go Friday, Friday yeah. afternoon, Thursday afternoon. All depends on what the schedule is, what the boss man does. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be out there today. And then Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to hunt or not. It's going to be really hot. I guess it kind of depends on what transpires this evening. Yeah. If I what... shoot a buck tonight, I am probably not hunting Monday or Tuesday. I'll go, I'll go to oh, jiu-jitsu God. and... See, that's why I'm waiting until Friday. It's supposed to be 82. Monday and Tuesday, 89 and 88. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. that. Then this weekend's supposed to drop back down. Yeah. But we got some rain and stuff yeah. coming. But I don't mind the light rain. If it's a light drizzle, I like that. Like that. Like that, dude. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I'm still not even sure exactly. I got I to gotta really make up my mind about what I'm doing tonight. Whether I got to take a long hike in to beat this wind, or do I want to ghillie suit it up and sit like on a field edge? Now, the other side is there any uh, soybean over there? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. The where I got some pictures right now. Actually, I have uh, photos of of that field because right now on the property that we hunt in Port, there's two locations where there's soybean. Uh, okay. Yeah. The one side is soybean, and the one is the other is corn. Yeah, our side is just nothing but corn. Yeah, it sucks. That shit is so hard to fucking traverse. My God. And the deer, dude, they prefer that soybean. Yeah, they oh, will. Yeah. I watched them last night. All the deer were going towards the soybean. Every deer yeah. was going towards it. They didn't give a fuck about that corn. <laughs> no. Fuck no. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. They'll eat the corn, but I, I from what I've seen, they prefer soybean. Yeah, till that soybean starts changing. Once it, it it starts getting yellow, there don't hit it quite as hard. Yeah, I definitely believe that. And th- on this property, you got acorns too. So the, mm-hmm. white oaks they start dropping. They'll they'll be hitting them too. Which I don't know if they're dropping yet. I haven't. I've seen some. I've seen some acorns. <coughs> so much food over there Excuse for me. And they're building across the street, so that probably push some deer over. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a DNR guy told me. That last January, he seen a big, like, 10-pointer with drop tines. 
over at Port where we hunt. So I was like, wow, I've never got him on camera. I'd, I'd love. Oh, could you imagine, dude, a, a drop tine buck? There's something about drop tines. You like drop tine, Chomsky? I do. Are you a drop tine guy? Yeah. Yeah, I like the I like the weird non typical shit. I, I'd really like drop times. Yeah, that drop time's probably hanging in a single wide trailer right, right down. now. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> I'm burn that thing down. Yeah. I I am the tornado. You are the trailer. There was a velvet. There was a velvet <laughs> six in Elk Mill. Someone got opening day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, I pulled up to Buckland's and a guy was there dropping off his little velvet eight. Oh, okay. Wasn't money. Yeah, he's a little basket rack eight, but it's still cool. Still cool but, velvet. Yeah, it's awesome. I'd seen a lot of good, a lot of good looking bucks on uh, Maryland bow hunters. Yeah. So they're 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 out there. Good on yous. Good on yous. Still waiting for uh, somebody from another state to send us in a kill. I'm gonna s s fucking splatter my ugly mug up there. Fuck you, motherfucker. Did uh, Tommy ever get back with the picker now? Yeah, yeah, he did. But it was a trail cam yeah. pick, so I don't. I, don't I, mean, I guess he didn't take a picture of it after he shot it. I don't know. Our buddy. Tommy McAndrews, he, we're going to try and have him come on soon, too, and tell us all about it, but he shot a, uh, a nine-pointer in velvet opening, opening day. Opening morning. Opening morning. Lucky I can't believe we didn't see anything opening morning. I know. I was so, like, I thought we'd see at least something. Me, too. Me, too. I, I usually do see deer over there. Yeah. I mean, it's sometimes I don't, but it's it's usually a pretty good spot in the mornings. It's it's one of the few spots that I have that I can hunt that is good in the mornings Yeah, because of the access. You slip right in. Yeah. And we did slip right in. We slipped right in there. We were, <laughs> we were real slippery and sneaky. <laughs> but, man, can't win them all. i tell you what, man. That slider, that added a whole nother s step to the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It... Uh, it was kind of nerve-wracking. It really? actually, it actually almost made me want to switch back to the old five pin. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, I don't. I, just for hunting. That's why I like that rover pin. That's true. Some guys like the sliders, but yeah, that's kind of why I went with the two pin too. That we got the two. Me and Ronsky both have the rover because it gives us that flexibility. Yeah, I mean, if if the deer was at thirty-three yards last night, you could have just put the two pins in between her. Yep, let it slide. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I but mean, you was, could do that. You could put a dot on your yeah. on your. I've been little, meaning to. Little thing. Yeah. You know, like fifteen yards out or something. Like yeah, that. I would put it at thirty. Ten ten yards difference, you think? Yeah, I would. Put, I would do one at like twenty and one at thirty. That way, you can set your pin at twenty five and thirty five. Mm. That's a nice range. Yeah. As to mine, because of how far the pins are, I'd have to get. If I made my bow faster, I could do that. But right now, my twenty puts my rover at like thirty five. Which ain't bad. That's a nice, nice gap. But I'd rather it be twenty and thirty. But it's fine. I, 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 I'm so used to the single pin. I've been hunting with single pin for about five years now, and I'm just used to it. I'm actually surprised I remembered to move the fucking sight. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've done it so much now. Yeah. Like I've never done it on a deer. I've never forgot. Yeah. Nah. I, I have on a target a couple times, but I was shaking so bad. That's the only thing I can remember is just that fucking pin. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a doe. Calm down. Dude. First one of the year, though. <laughs> you got to break that rust off. Yeah, yeah. We talked about last year, that early season rust, man. You said that spike, you, you snapped us, and you were like, dude, my heart is beating out of my <laughs> chest right now, and it's a spike. I'm it's not a even going to shoot it. It's a fucking 40-pound spike. <laughs> Goddamn. I'm pretty sure you can hear my heart beating right now, dude. <laughs> ah, I love it, baby. I love it. I've been going and arranging, like picking trees and stuff. I've, cha I've changed my whole whole approach. Yeah. Like that spot hog, range oh, yeah. that tree, range that rock. Yep. Oh uh, yeah. I do picking, that. Pick, uh, yeah, picking yardages. I, I know was... that tree's at twenty. So if that deer is anywhere near that tree, that's mm -hmm. twenty. That's twenty five. That's thirty five. That's, a good way that's to go. sixty five. That's what I do. I know John Dudley on his property. He he ranges trees from his stands and and actually spray paints the yardages on them. Damn. Really? Yeah. Well, that's like. The on my walk in, you know, I practice so many things, but something I really don't practice, and this made me think I need to start practicing that. Judging distances. Is judging distances from the ground on the fly. Yep. Like had I, had I been more accurate with judging how far that doe was, I, I would have spined her and hit her with a double tap, and I'd had a doe last night. She'd been break dancing. But <laughs> I was I was probably about five yards off. I bet she was thirty five. I thought she was forty. I did the same thing last year, opening day. Yeah. I thought she was at 50, and she was really 40, and shoom, right over her back. I think I'm going to start doing that during season. Like, every once in a while when I go out to shoot, I'm not going to take my rangefinder, and I'm, I'm just going to throw the target out, like, in my side yard, throw that block target out, and just shoot it. Maybe just, don't. 
Well, <laughs> kill your neighbor. <laughs> well, I'll shoot towards. I'll shoot towards the fence. Like there's a there's a good spot. There's a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it off my porch too, so I'm a uh, little bit yeah, elevated, yeah. and that way, if I miss, it's gonna go into the ground. Yeah, that's that's. I feel like that's a good thing to practice. Oh yeah. As much as especially as much as I hunt from the ground, I don't do it a lot, but. I do hunt with a ghillie suit from the ground sometimes, and sometimes you don't have time to range them. Yeah. I, that'd be fun. Get the um, all three of us roll the target out. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Yep. What do you think it is? I think, oh, we didn't talk about this. So for the tiebreaker, say in the in the case that we tie at the end of the season this year, say two people tie for last, <clears throat> run, ski, run, and <laughs> two people tie for Bullshit. first, <laughs> what we'll do is we're going to do one arrow, tiebreaker and that's what we'll do we'll take that block target we'll throw it out in the field and each shoot you got to guess the distance hey. and closest person to zero gets an extra point yeah. closest to center yep yeah. that's the way to go that's a good tiebreaker right yeah i must hope we tie now that sounds cool <laughs> sudden sudden <laughs> death. Do it. yeah we can still just do yeah, it just, yeah. but sudden death i like that that's that's how we'll break any tiebreakers you and john better start practicing yeah. We're talking about i'm starting off season strong dude <laughs> yeah. okay He's a hard blood. one. He's a hard one to keep up with. Last year, I, I pulled ahead of you for a little bit last year, didn't I? Yeah, like the first week. Yeah, and then and I then had you five down you, before October. Like, <laughs> you were drilling them. I was like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> calm down, dude. Yeah, I think you stayed ahead for the rest of the year. Yeah, he's a hard one to catch, boy. Johnny, you don't call him JP Rambo for nothing. Yeah, this is the, this nickname isn't just yeah, it's legit. <laughs> this ain't no hobby. <laughs> this ain't no hobby, baby. That's no right. Hobby. <clears throat> Well, gentlemen, it is about time for me to get out in the woods. Have fun. I'm going to watch football. I'm, I'm too, when I get in the stand. Yeah, I'll be um, – I'm going to roll out around three. Yeah. I'm yeah. A, I'm in no rush. It's 10 I, after I've been one. Getting in, I've been getting in way too early. Yeah, see – Those deer didn't cross last night till 5 o'clock. Yeah. Last f- – till 5. That's kind of early. Yeah. <laughs> that's crossed, pretty early. Yeah, they crossed at 5. Yeah, I mean – Started cr- working to wherever they were going. I don't know where, where – they're probably eating out of someone's backyard in Elks Mills. I've seen, I seen deer on their feet on my way in, and as soon as I got in the stand, minutes later. So, for where I'm going, they're moving at 3.30, 4 p.m. So, I want to be in my tree stand by 2.30. Over at the quarry, both nights it was 6.20 before I seen the first deer. Yeah. So. See, that's nice. I'd rather it be that way. Yeah. It's a, Port is just such a massive property, and it is just covered in deer. There yeah. are so many deer in there. Like, when <clears throat> Wyatt and I drove around looking for them poachers, I seen one, two, three deer just driving back in there. Wow. They're all over in there. It is It is a great property. How far are you parking from the uh, entry point? Well, there's a tree down in the middle of the road now, so i got to park even further, which is part of why i got to hike a little mm. further. On the uh, going towards the valley of death, there's a tree down. Well, Tits McGee. Yeah, so I just parked like it's a pretty, it's a pretty far hike. <laughs> it sucks, but it is what it is. But I like, I like that a little bit too, because I don't want them seeing my truck. We're hearing it. You yeah. think they really care about that? I do. Yeah. I really do. I one time years ago when I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was hunting on the clock. <laughs> yeah, you're a professional hunter, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was, a pro- I was getting paid to hunt, dude. <laughs> I parked my work truck, and I had a deer blow at my truck. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's really the truck itself, but it's just that it shouldn't be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Another thing that I was thinking about, and I've thought about this before, and I'd like to get your guys' opinion on this. Do you think deer, like a buck, an old buck, do you think that he is aware of season coming in and going, or do you think he like thinks, oh, all summer, like, oh, we're not getting hunted anymore, and then bam, he gets hunting pressure, and he then he starts avoiding. Or do you think he's aware of the fact that hunting season is coming? I don't know. Do you think they remember from year to year nah, that they're getting hunted? I think it's just the, the presence of people. Yeah, I don't think they. Uh, I don't think they have. They can. And their their tolerance level is different. You know what I mean? Like they see you, you get busted by that that buck one time. He knows he's like, okay. Yeah, then he and the knows jig is know. up. Like a doe might see you. Yeah. Like a young doe might see you a couple times from a distance and just kind of booger off. And but I think that old buck, once he sees your ass, you lock eyes. Well, I, I definitely agree with that. But I just mean like from one year to the next, like you can feel. feel if he knows feel, like hunting uh, season's about to start. 
I don't think they have a thing for time. I kind of think they do, man. Because really? and it's weather, just, maybe. This is pure speculation, of course. But they've been known to do the same thing from one year to the next, to yeah. the day. Yeah, that's true. So it almost makes me think that they have a memory that, that is that good. That they might be aware that season is starting. And like summer, they might know once it starts getting cool after summer, the hunters are coming. Or do they just react to pressure? I think they're just instinct driven. Yeah, there's I agree. Just some, there's just a something, a spirit just telling them that you got to do this and this and this and this and this. Yeah. They're not thinking about what they got to do. They just do it. Yeah, that makes sense. But then again, they react to pressure. Like an old buff well, of gets people coming in there, he's going to avoid that area. Yep. And it just makes me wonder if, I don't know, it's just interesting. It's definitely something to think about. It'd be cool. I wish we knew more about their brains. Well, let's get a a, a, a research group of whitetails. That'd be tough. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking capture a bunch of whitetails. Put them in a pen over your house. You got the most land. Yeah, we could do it. Oh, dude, I would love to have a pet deer. Oh, I yeah. seen a video. I think it was on Instagram. This guy was, uh, I guess he worked at a deer farm or something. Big velvet fucking like 12 pointer. Mm -hmm. And he's feeding it a natural light and it's drinking oh, beer. Yeah, that, yeah. that was fucking awesome. See, I don't really agree with some of that shit that those deer farms do, like making these bucks so rack heavy that they it's can enormous. barely stand up. Yeah. It's like, come on. Okay, come on. And then they sell these fucking deer. They sell yeah. their sperm. It's like, what? For what? It's, yeah, it's cheesy. And then they sell them to these fenced in hunting outfits. People kill them, spend 10 grand, kill a 300 inch deer. That's, I, I, hey, look, if I had a bunch of money, I'd probably do it. <laughs> but it is cheesy. Yeah, like you're just killing a pet, pretty much. Yeah. It takes a lot of the fun out of it for yeah. me. But then, I mean, you could say the same thing about, like, the way the juries do it. Like, it, it's mm -hmm. like a petting zoo in there, and they drive around on their gators, and they hop in their redneck blind, and you're, like, guaranteed to see deer. It's like it's almost like it's not – I would I would love doing it. Don't yeah. get me wrong. And who, if I had the resources and money, might I do the same thing? Probably would. But I, I just – I wouldn't. I don't enjoy hunting like that as much as I do the the run and gun old fashioned way. I really like doing it that way. I do. I love killing deer over corn. Of course I do. But it's just not as fun as the challenge of finding a, a deer and its natural movement patterns and stuff. Yeah, that's. I think that's why I don't like baiting. Yeah. Because I, I like to find them on their natural bed feed pattern. I don't want to add something else to where they just kind of stop by. Yeah. I want to find. I want to find the deer. I don't want the deer to find the corn yeah you know what i mean it's i'm not saying i don't do it but i prefer the old-fashioned way yeah, more power to anybody that wants to do it that way yeah no i have no issue with it at all and i'll do it i fucking got a feeder set up you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. but it's just and I, I plan to use it i hope the fucking i can get the thing working you yeah. know what i mean because it's nice to have that option to have the gimme shots the guaranteed dough like you know all right they're coming in then i know i can get it which is awesome <clears throat> but i would still even if i had a property of my own and had the ability to to have it set like that i would still want to do some i guess like what's the word i'm looking for like free range or yeah. run and gun style hunting because it's just different it, it's a different approach and it is it's fun love fun doing it yet, dude. i love every process every part of the process up in na mother nature's bosoms mm. <laughs> love it love it <laughs> i'm gonna be out there tonight itching my chiggers in the sand I got them all over my feet. I permethroned everything in my outfit except for my socks, and I wore Crocs, and they tore my feet up. I got them bad, son. No ticks. Chiggers. Yeah, yeah I didn't have any ticks. I didn't have any ticks. Yeah, and chiggers are the worst. Mm. They really are. It's like as far as like getting bit by something, it's way worse than mosquitoes. Yeah, they just just itches constantly. Chiggers are miserable. So are briar bushes. Jesus Christ. My little mesh leafy suit. It just catches every thorn on a fucking briar bush. Yeah. I was, like, caught in a briar thicket last night. I thought I was going to die there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it? This is how it ends? <laughs> Somebody just comes along and finds my skeleton in a leafy suit. <laughs> oh, it was man. terrible. You got any shooter passes today? Or? No, I, I, I didn't. Dude, I've been focusing on hunting. I haven't even been doing much prep. Shooter passes. Yeah. 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 Shooter pass, uh... Ravens over the Eagles. Ravens. 
Eagles, bro. Shooting on the Eagles. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're fucking mine. It's fucking crazy. Ravens are banged up right now. Yeah, well, we signed Devontae Freeman, Le'Veon, Le'Veon Bell. Two old has-beens. And somebody else. Yeah, but we're uh, four guys down with fucking ACLs. Mm. Vitor Belfort. Dude, what a shit show that was last night. I thank God I'd have to fucking pay for it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. i just seen highlights. Yeah, I mean, it, it, Holyfield, he's almost 60 years old. Yeah. Old guys, they just can't get their feet under him. He fell like four or five times. No, I got a shooter pass. It's a shame. What it you got? Shooter pass. Morning sits during early season. Pass. Yeah, pass. I'm, I'm probably, too. probably not going to sit in the morning again for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I might with Ryan next weekend. You won't see me in the woods in the morning until November. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go late. I'll start late October. Yeah. Poor Ryan. Like he was saying yesterday, like uh, what everything he does in life, it's like the more you put into it, the better you get. And he, but he's like hunting is completely different. Yeah. So you got to pick and choose when you go. So that's kind of. Yep. It's. Sometimes less is more. That's what so I told him. I was like, I'd rather have a day with perfect wind than have three or four days in the woods with meh wind. Oh, yeah. If I could pick to have a cold front and a good wind for one day or four days of, like, average temperature mm-hmm. and an okay wind, I, I'm going for that one day. Absolutely. fucking lutely. But it's hard to keep me out of that woods because I love it. Yeah, buddy, he's got to have different stands for different wins. That's right. That's what. That's what's nice about that climber. Versatility. All right, gents, it's gonna do it. I gotta get out to the woods. I got business to handle. Mm. Ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beers and Deers crew tuning out. We got some deer to kill. Daddy Rambo's one up. <laughs> mm, not after tonight.